Hey, another commentary done by Diggity upper in corner. We have 264 U as the pink Protoss. Bottom left in corner, we have Attentat starting as the red Zerg. This is on Odyssey. Getting all the cool maps now. Odyssey, the weirder of the maps where you've got the protected natural expansion that is blockaded by a cannon, but you can see where the mineral field allows you to move back and forth. That also makes it a little bit easier to get scouting information if you get a worker in your opponent's base. Otherwise, a normal natural expansion that is, uh, there is a, I think it's just a single Zelnaga Temple. I thought it was stacked Zelnaga Temples. I don't know why they have this weird, like, semi-serpent dagger guy. It's like, it's like a serpent, but with, like, teeny arms with the head right there. Some weird Zelnaga action going on. Additional expansions out there, but this tends to be a little bit more Zerg favoritistic, because once you get Mutalisks up in the air, they can deny that rear expansion where it becomes difficult to deny it uh, for other opponents. Pylon being dropped. Probe moving out to go ahead and get that quick scout. I'm curious if we are just going to end up seeing another Attentat playing very aggressive in all of his matchups thus far. I'm curious if we're going to see another two hatch Hydra bust or something of that ilk once again. Two sex is going to have a very rapid, maybe recognizing the early threat, getting a very rapid probe in his opponent's base, wants to see that gas timing. Overpool from Attentat. I'm almost wondering if he's debating a gas steal right there. Probe gonna go ahead and wander out. Looks like we're gonna see a forge opener for Too Sexy. I'm curious on the strength of the 973 build on this. I could see Anta executing, especially looking at how well he executed uh, previous builds. I could see him executing that rather well here. Probe trying to blockade the drone. Second drone coming off the line. Pylon blockade to buy even more time. Spawning pool still in construction. No gas grab as of yet. And this is really going to slow down that natural. Looks actually a uh, dropped attempt, so Adentat just going to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock base. Looks like he might be planning on going 3 hatch before gas as an adjustment. Does have 6 Zerglings now in construction. Nexus being built with all of that delay. That cannon should be in plenty of time to deal with the initial Zerglings. I'm actually a little bit... Maybe he didn't want to have to clear the cannon out in that rear area. Or it could be Attentat's not familiar with Odyssey. The other thing I should point out <clears throat> with Odyssey is you do have the double gas to work with, but I haven't seen any player utilize that for any style of clever build. It's still the same 5,000. It's just split between two geysers. Zerglings in compliments now blocking the ramp and trying to create a blockade of information at the natural expansion. That probe, if it stayed in the rear, might have been able to stay alive and deny this. Attentat still hasn't dropped that. Okay, now wandering out to drop that third. Looks like he just wanted to keep that information hidden. Did build the extractor before, but a little bit later than usual, so that tech is going to be somewhat delayed. Gateway on the front. Nexus coming online. We do have that assimilator warping in behind all of this. I feel like a Corsair opener. I'm almost hoping to see Sexy go for a plus one two gate because I do feel like this is a solid map to go the uh, two Stargate Reaver style since once you have air control, you can more comfortably take that rear base and having Reavers open up that Zelnaga temple rapidly can really apply pressure. Sexy now discovering that 9 o'clock base, which I think he's got to be like, why didn't you take the Protect Natural might be a question here. Probe dies as it discovers it, but has a, all the information it's looking for. It looks like this is potentially going to be some variation on a 973. We've got the nine drones initially at the main. We're going to have three. We'll see if they continue. The probe trying to get additional scouting information, making its way back. The Zerglings intercepting it at the ridge line, Cybernetic score almost finished. Overlord wandering in to go ahead and confirm that. Two cannons have actually been placed on the front for Sexy. Maybe respecting the aggression. We do have a second assimilator warped in, which does open up the potential possibility of that double Stargate style. Unfortunately, if double Stargate is the option here, that is going to put, that is going to leave Sexy very, very vulnerable to a 973 especially if you can't scout it. Looks like the probe wandering in is going to get, is going to be able to check that drone saturation. That should be a, a pretty sizable indicator. 
We have two drones, this drone not active as of yet. But yeah, once he sees the three drones here, should start making preparations, save up some cannons, get some more units out in the front, potentially to do with it. The Zergling sweeping back to go ahead and try to, well, getting good damage on that probe. The probe looks like it's going to be able to angle around. Nice micro by Sexy, but to no avail, it gets wiped out. Hydralis speed finished. So now we're going to see that march of Hydralisks across the map. First Corsair being built. Citadel of Adun plopped down to the rear. Preventative photon cannon warping in. Probably going to need two more. And unfortunately, without an additional, and actually a good amount of extra Zerglings being built, and that's without Zergling speed, to try to engage the front. Corsair making its way across. Zealot finding some Zerglings piled up. That Zealot needs actually to get back to protective. Who gets wiped out very rapidly. And now, yeah, a, a slew of cannons should be dropped from Sexy in response to that. Don't see it yet. Come on, Sexy. What is he doing? Building a second Corsair. No! And Zealot speed. Oh, that might be it. It's not over yet. But upon seeing this many Zerglings, I would have hoped that he was expecting some sort of damage at the front. Still hasn't spotted the Hydralisks. Is working on an Overlord. I don't see a Templar Archives to save him here as of yet. Looks like he's warping it in about halfway. I don't think it's going to be in time. The Hydralisks going up to go ahead and wipe that Corsair out. But Attentat's going to execute this attack well before these cannons are warped in. Yeah, the Hydralisks moving now. Too late. One cannon down. Although the Zealot's getting some sufficient damage. Probe's now pulling off the line. The, the front rung of cannons have been wiped out, so it's up to the probes to defend. More reinforcements moving up for Attentat, and it looks like Attentat is going to be able to get yet another solid victory off early aggression. Yeah, there's GG. Oh, man. Small mistakes can cost you games at this level. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, a subscribe, share with a friend, advance the cause of Brood War. Hope you guys enjoyed it all the way around. Thank you for listening.